Hey guys, my name is Shirley and welcome to Learning With Purpose where it's all about helping you achieve your educational goals. So um, today's video is just going to be a quick little motivational video for all of you guys who are starting to feel, you know, a bit tired, you know, starting to slack off a bit and feeling like you just really don't have that little bit of energy for this final stretch of your HSE. I mean, you guys have like less than two months now. So yeah, hopefully this video gives you that little push that you need and some tips that you can use to get over these last remaining few months. Okay, so tip number one is to review the why to your goals. All right, so now I'm pretty sure before you started your HSC, your teachers, your parents, or someone would have told you to set goals. So now is the time to actually start using those goals. I want you to look at why did you set those goals and use that why to motivate you to keep on going. All right, at the beginning of the year, I'm pretty sure somebody may have set a goal to say, oh, I wanna get an 82.9 ATAR, or maybe I wanna get a 99.95. Look at why you wanna get that mark. Look at why you wanna get into the, uh, why you wanna get that um, score. Is it because you wanna get into a certain course? Is it because you wanna push yourself or prove um, that you can do something that you've never done before? Whatever that why is, use that to motivate you now. Like I'll give you an example. For me, I've set a goal for myself that I have to wake up at 5.30, go train um, at the gym, come back home and then get my day started. There's some times that I honestly do not want to get up at 5.30 in the morning. But so sometimes I just have to remind myself of why I set that goal. I just have to be like, Shirley, I know you don't want to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, but you want to look like this, you want to feel like this, you want to build your strength and all that kind of stuff. Then I motivate myself to get up at 5.30 and go train which is insane. But anyways, so yeah, look at the why to your goals and use that to motivate you. Okay, so tip number two is to realize that pain and struggle is part of the process. I don't know why a lot of us have this belief that life should be easy going. We believe that life is exactly how it is on Instagram, how it is in high school musical and all that kind of stuff. Well, in reality, life actually isn't like that. If you want something, you gotta work for it. And if you want something great, you have to put an insanely um, high level of hard work into it. Mm -hmm. So you gotta realize that, you know, it's not meant to be easy. It's, it's, the HSC is not designed to be easy. It's designed, you know, to push you through something that you've never been pushed, uh, push. it's designed to push you through something that you've never been pushed through before. Uh, the HSC, it, it trains you, it stresses you, but that is honestly part of the equation. I'm not saying you live a miserable life, but I'm saying understand that it's not meant to be easy. If you look at any great or successful person, you look at Oprah Winfrey, you look at, um, I don't know, who's great? Usain Bolt, if you look at Ellen DeGeneres, whatever. All those great people, they will tell you that life wasn't always easy. They will tell you that to get to where they are, they had to work hard. But it is those hard times that build up your character and that lead you to achieve that, uh, that end result. So you gotta realize that the HSC, it's not meant to be easy. And the quicker you accept that, the more efficient you'll be able to work. Because if you understand that it's not something that's easy, you'll realize that you have to put an insanely level amount of work in order to reap the results that you want. When you realize that it's not something that's all smooth sailing, when things get tough, you won't be complaining so much. So while everybody else is complaining about how hard it is and everything like that, you'd be like, you know what, I already know it's gonna be hard, but I know that I gotta put my um, all my effort into this and then you'll be smashing it. So yeah, don't waste time complaining. Don't waste time whinging. Don't waste time complaining about how hard it is. Hundreds and thousands of people have done it before. You're not the first one to go through it. So I'm sorry to sound a bit rough, but you gotta suck it up and just put in the effort. All right, so my third and final tip for this video is to look at how far you've come and look at how little you have left. Um, if you're a HSC student at this time, you probably have less than two months to go of your HSC. That's like 10 plus years of education that you have gone through and now you only have like literally less than two months to finish your HSC. Look at the amount of assignments you've done, the amount of words you've written over your lifetime, the amount of tests and examinations you've done and now you only just have a handful left. 
So use that to motivate you. Be like, you know what? I'm just gonna smash it out in this last little stretch of the race, uh, in this last little leg of the race, and then you can do whatever you want afterwards. You know, don't give up now. You are literally nearly there. Look at how far you've come. Look at all the um, all-nighters that you've pulled in the past. Look at all the hard work you've done. All the times that you thought you couldn't finish that essay. All the times that you thought there is no way that I'm understanding that concept. But now you're still here. Even look at how um, at the beginning of the year, you probably didn't even understand some of the words in your syllabus. But now you can smash out an essay on it. So yeah, look at the progress you've made. I'm pretty sure you've done so, so much already. So use that to motivate you. You're nearly there. Don't give up now. You've come way too far. All right, guys. So I know that was not really maybe the nicest videos of all times, but I really do hope that you use some of these things that I've said to help motivate you to push through this last little bit of your HSE journey. Um, if you did like this video, do not forget to pop that like button and the subscribe button and share it around with your friends so that we can build an amazing community. So with all that being said and done, dream big and hustle hard. I'll see you again next time. Bye.